Okay guys, so as you can see we have a uh, vacuum tube Tesla coil. Uh, this is Vostok 1.1 we are calling it. Uh, 0.1 because I changed a few things with the primary. It's changed to a multi-tap primary now. Uh, just had quite a few issues with it today because uh, the actual vacuum tube's been a bit of a pain because uh, it had a defect. There's like the the pins at the bottom of the vacuum tube go into a glass sleeve before they go inside the vacuum tube and that glass sleeve the actual uh, the wires the pins in there actually come too close together so I get actual arcing between those pins in there so yeah I tried removing a few grid um, coil turns to see if I can lower the voltage a bit I didn't want to go too far below because I'm already at 22 turns and uh, 25 is what Steve Ward asks in the circuit for so I don't want to go too far below that but um, yeah but that's working now I had a few issues um, I did actually try using silica sand as you can see there out of fuses filling the uh, the bottom of the glass part of the base up with silica sand but that doesn't seem to work so yeah that still had an issue so after that I went to high voltage transformer oil or mineral oil so that seemed to save the day there so I've actually filled the bottom of that cap, the black cap up there and the glass sleeve inside of it where the pins go with high voltage transformer oil and then capped it off with a bit of hot snot so that seems to do the job really well so that is working now and I can I can crank the voltage and it has no issues uh, arcing inside that vacuum tube so yeah great the Vostok lives so yeah, we can actually run that now. That's been warming up for a few, a fair few sets of minutes. So, uh, yeah, angle you guys up a bit because the output is it's not brilliant. It needs a bit more tuning, but it's somewhere. It's getting there now. Anyway, it's got a decent enough output for a single 811 vacuum tube running on an 850 watt microwave oven transformer. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll run that up. So get the magic wand out and uh, this is the variac for running the MOT over the back there and this variac here is preset for the filament voltage which is 6.3 volts so that's set for 6.3 volts when the variac over there is at 230 so that's already preset to run that nicely so yeah we'll uh, crank it up if we get a breakout oscillating there you go, boosh so that's 8% in at the moment take that up to 100 that's it yeah that's probably a good 6 inches good health to 6 inch arc off the top of that is not quite tuned fully because the vacuum tube is starting to glow a little bit on the red side. I can get the other lights now actually. Whoosh. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Wireless torch. So yeah, you can see the vacuum tube is slightly glowing there, so it's not perfectly in tune. So what I plan on doing with that is actually changing the tank capacitance. So what I'll do is um, I'll get a, a mini multiple capacitor bank, I'll get a lot of uh, little caps and use those instead because at the moment I'm using doorknob caps so yeah uh, it's not so adjustable so yeah I'll get a, um, an MNC type capacitor bank for that but yeah it's running pretty good as it is you know I did uh, a lot of tuning with L1 uh, the primary coil and changing different caps to get a good output from there so this seems to be a pretty good point but it, I think it could be better, so we'll, uh, we'll try an MMC on there and see what we can do with the, with the actual capacitance. So we'll put the, uh, the lights back on. There you get a tingly sensation. It's, yeah, that's quite nice. So we'll turn that down. It's a very hot arc. You can feel the heat. Feel the heat off this. But uh, yeah, nothing's really getting too warm. Uh, like the most of the heat is obviously the vacuum tube that's running quite high. You know, that's a couple of couple of hundred at the moment. 
and then the MOT is about 22 degrees but it hasn't run for very long. Uh, the grid leak capacitor, uh, resistor sorry, is about 40, 45, that's 180 watt I put in there. And everything else like the filament transformer down there, 21, Variax, 17, 18. RFI doesn't really do anything, but yeah, 16. And the primary, that's a bit that sometimes gets warm if you got it wrong, so that's about 17 or 18. Uh, the grid, if I can get a non-reflective me measurement, about 20. And yeah, about 22 on the, uh, the secondary there, 20, 22. Top bit doesn't really do much. So yeah, so basically yeah, the hot bit is the vacuum tube which I need to work out with an MMC and yeah, that'll, that'll probably do it then. I could probably get a better transformer for it. I've got an 850 microwave oven transformer at the moment but more is better because it can handle a bit more. Maybe put a fan on it. But yeah, this is just a, uh, this is just a test setup for basically just playing around with VTTCs since I've not made them before. I just thought I'd just sort of do a rough 600 by 600 piece of wood and just place things where they want to be and uh, just try it out. So yeah, that's uh, that's running pretty good now. I haven't got any of that arcing in the, in the bottom of the uh, vacuum tube. So I'll just turn that filament off. Boosh. And yeah, that's it pretty much guys. Uh, I can do a close up if we took the lights on. So yeah, there we go. We got the uh, the vacuum tube down there. We got the uh, top load there with the little uh, brass bullet type. I just laid that up earlier. That's actually uh, threaded and tapped in on the top of that, so that's not going anywhere. And then uh, primary there is just uh, I've just wired it in. Um, was it tri rated 1.5? Uh, the grid is just there, it's about 20, 22 turns I think now, I've taken a few off it, the grid quill. Uh, that's 0.5 mil diameter. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, there's the 850 watt MOT. We've got the 150 watt 5k resistor there, the grid, grid resistor. And then there's a capacitor there which I think is 2.2 uh, uh, picofarad, I think that was 2.2 picofarad. Uh, sorry, and then I got the uh, the two ceramic discs you can see there. That is actually the tank capacitor. That's two 470s make 940 picofarads, and uh, that's pretty much it. An RFI filter just in case. It's a four amp variac there, a one amp variac there, 50 VEA, uh, 6.3 uh, six volt uh, filament transformer there, 50 VEA. So yeah, it's all pretty, pretty over, over engineered in the way of uh, the ratings and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. And then we get a little uh, 14 turn of uh, 1.5, oh sorry, uh, yeah, 1.5 millimeter diameter wire around a uh, a 30 watt. I'm trying to think how many ohms that was now. Uh, what does Steve call for on that? Steve Ward over here. So we thank him for his drawing here, which I've uh, followed. So he's asked for a 30 ohm 20 watt, I've done a 10 watt because that's what I had. So for that part anyway, I won. But yeah, that's quite handy. So yeah, check out his website anyway, just Steve Ward or HV. So that's quite quite a good website if you're looking into um, building or designing. I'll put a link down in the uh, description for that website. So yep, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed and uh, I'll see you all again next time and hopefully we'll have some bigger arcs or maybe more vacuum tubes or hopefully something something a bit better than this anyway, you could probably tune, tune up with an M MMC, so that would be the better way to do it. So yep, okay guys, yep, right down there, yep, touch down, okay, cheers guys, bye.